Hello, welcome to Accurate Physics. In this lecture, I am discussing about how to solve the physics problem related to rotational kinetic energy and we will also calculate the torque. Let me read this problem. In a tumbling cloth is dryer, the cylindrical drum of radius 50 cm and mass 35 kg rotates once every second. Determine the rotational kinetic energy about its central axis. Part B. If it started from rest and reached that speed in 2.50 seconds, determine the average net torque on the dryer drum. So, to attack this problem, to solve this problem, first step is collecting the required data that's given in the problem. So let me write down here, collecting information. So this is the first step. So what is given? That is the collection of the given information. So first thing here is given, you can locate in the question, the radius of the drum is given, that is R denoted by R and given by 50.0 centimeter this is equal to 0 0.50 meter i'm converting into centimeter to meter so that unit will be si so this is si unit and then mass is given which is 35.0 kg what else is given there so look at this word rotates once every second what is this information here it's not given in the number but uh, the rotational speed that is rotational velocity is given that is omega once once every second means one revolution per second let me convert this one into radian per second because the revolution is not a SI system to convert one revolution per second to radian per second I have to multiply this one revolution multiplied by 2 rad uh, divided by one revolution one by second right this revolution is cancelled with this revolution and uh, I got like this is 2 pi here should be 2 and pi because one revolution means a two pi radian okay so this is two pi rad per second so this is si unit for angular velocity so my new omega in the si system is two pi rad per second okay so i know these things if I multiply this 2 with 5 and in the numbers I can put like 2 into 3.14 because you know pi is equal to 3.14 uh, it will be 6.28 rad per second so this is omega now another thing given in the question here is the time in this if you go to the second part of this question speed if it is started from rest that means initial angular velocity is given that is omega naught is equal to zero if it is starts from the rest right and then what else is there that speed in 2.5 second the speed that we have written here speed obtained 6.28 is within this much second which is 2.5 seconds so time is given so i can write down time is equal to 2.50 seconds so these are all the informations are given in the problem right what are given here radius of the cloth dryer tumbling cylindrical drum then mass of that cylindrical drum and uh, angular velocity of the drum final angular velocity 
initial angular velocity of the drum which is zero because initially their drum is cylindrical drum is at rest and the time which is 2.50 seconds so these are all the information given we have in the problem okay other than these informations we don't have anything else so after that this is step one right collecting all the information from the problem so next step is what are the relevant uh, equations before that let me write down what are the target variable in the first question what is asked to determine the rotational kinetic energy so first thing you have to find is in part a what is the rotational kinetic energy k equal to what in part b what is asking part b if it is started from rest and reached that speed in 2.5 seconds determine the average net tau so second thing is tau let me write down here tau net is equal to what so these are two things you have to calculate so these we call target variables okay so next step is writing down step two is write relevant equations relevant equations relevant equations are equations needed to calculate these target variables let me hear in the first equation which is part a you have to calculate k that is kinetic energy what is the rotational kinetic energy formula we know rotational kinetic energy is half of product of moment of inertia i here is moment of inertia multiplied by omega square omega square omega is angular velocity okay so if i need equation for moment of inertia i know moment of inertia for a hoop that is you know cylindrical uh, drum is like a hoop for hoop it is m r square right this is the formula for moment of inertia this is for part first in the part second we have to find out torque and we must relate uh, torque with the rotational kinetic energy that we call work energy theorem so we know rotational work done w is tau theta and if uh, we relate this work with the kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy that will be k minus k naught that is uh, rotational work done will be final rotational kinetic energy minus initial rotational kinetic energy right initially drum started to move from rest so initial kinetic energy will be zero and this will be k why we are connecting to the rotational kinetic energy is because in the part first we have a rotational kinetic energy if we are able to connect this uh, work done with the rotational kinetic energy we can solve tau because tau is the target variable in part two okay from here tau will be k divided by theta right tau theta is equal to k and tau is equal to k divided by theta okay but we don't know theta how to find the theta there is no given value for theta in the problem if you go back you can't find the theta here but all other informations are given to find the theta so what are given omega is given omega naught is given and uh, um, time is also given so in that case you can find uh, theta by using this equation theta is the angular displacement so you can write down theta is equal to average angular velocity multiplied by time what is angular velocity average angular velocity initial angular velocity plus final angular velocity divided by 2 multiplied by 2 so these are relevant required equations that we can use to solve the target variables in this problem so now actually solve problem so 
third step here in solving this kind of problem is do math do math and this is as i said this is the easy part in the calculation because you have equations that we need to solve the target variable and we have collected all the informations needed okay so in the part first you have to find a k so formula is one half i omega squared let me break down this i into because i is mr squared let me write down mr squared omega squared right i have all the information in the uh information section here i need m what i need here m r and omega okay what is m here look at here m is 35 kilogram right what is omega omega is 6.28 radians and what is r r is 0 0.50 meter let me write it down all these things insert right here one half multiplied by m is 35 kg multiplied by r is 0 0.50 meter square and then uh, omega is 6.28 red divided by second squared okay so if i multiply all these things one by two 35 0 0.5 and 6.28 let me calculate all these value and get the answer uh it will be 172.5 joule because this is the kinetic energy and unit is joule right so this is rotational kinetic energy rotational k we are done with part one okay so for part b first thing is we not we need theta so let me go through the formula for average angular velocity multiplied by t which is omega naught plus omega divided by 2 multiplied by t okay but we know initial angular velocity is 0 plus final angular velocity is 6.28 rad per second rad per second whole divided by 2 multiplied by time is given that is how much is time let me go back and get time from here in my information section which is 2.50 second go back and insert value of t which is 2.50 second right uh, calculating all these numbers uh, which is 6.28 uh, divided by 2 red per second multiplied by 2.50 second the second is also cancelled and uh, it will give me something like 7.85 react right so this is theta this is theta but our goal is to find a tau that is the net torque so to find a tau let's go ahead and write down the work done that is the rotational work done which is tau theta right this is the right relationship between uh, uh torque and the rotational work done so connecting this information this equation with kinetic energy which we call uh work energy theorem k minus k naught okay so again initial kinetic energy is zero so this this gives you k okay from here tau theta is equal to k and our goal is finding tau which is tau net is given by k divided by theta we have value of k and theta theta is here 
and k we can get it from uh, part a which is k equal to 172.5 joule let me go back to the equation and insert all these value one uh, it's not one point let me correct it 172.5 joule was kinetic energy and angular displacement which is theta is 7.85 right if i calculate these numbers 172.5 divided by 7.85 uh this was in red this one is giving me 22.0 uh, meter newton okay so this is tau net so tau net is equal to 22.0 meter newton okay so this is my tau the tau net tau in the system okay so in this way you can solve the problems related to uh, rotational kinetic energy you can apply the uh, work energy approach and um, work done formula of work done in this problem and get the target variable right kinetic energy and uh, talk